All right, what's going on, guys? I am bringing you 145 to two multi-team hardpoint gameplay. This is a really old gameplay. I think I'm still prestige master in this, so that tells you how old it is. And I also pick up a nuclear in this, and I also pick up a 42 gun streak, I believe, if I count it correctly. Not that big of a gun streak, so it's not really too big of a deal. I didn't even put in the title or anything like that. But uh, yeah, pretty good gameplay. One of my one of my highest multi-team. I think I have like a 160. I think that's the highest, something like that. But uh, yeah, so pretty good gameplay. 145 and two, and uh, pretty long gameplay as well. There wasn't much I could cut out because I only died two times. So uh, yeah, wasn't much else. But I do have a good commentary topic I think for today, so I should be able to fill up the whole time limit with it. And that's basically gonna be. It's gonna be talking about the Xbox One versus the PS4, which I'm sure. You guys have already heard way too much about that. I'm not going to break down w what's special about either one. I'm just going to tell you guys which one I'm getting and why and all that type of stuff. So yeah, if you guys could leave a like rating on this video, for the gameplay at least. <laughs> Although I'm sure some people are going to get mad about my system choice. Which uh, doesn't really, I don't know, it doesn't matter to me. But uh, yeah, at least leave a like for the good gameplay. I don't know, maybe we can get 500, I'm not sure. But uh, yeah, anyways. So, as you can probably already tell from the title. I will be getting an Xbox One, and uh, there are a couple reasons for that, and I'm going to go into those now, but um, the main reason, and uh, that's just, it's just my, it's what, first of all, I want to just break it down like this, they're very close, um, in my opinion, they're like, there's, there's some have, like, the Xbox One has certain benefits, the PS4 has certain benefits, but um, it's just, it's really comes down to personal preference, and that's, and what I mean by that is, basically, I don't like the Xbox One con I just messed that up. <laughs> I don't like the PlayStation controller, and from what I've seen of the pictures and everything, the the controllers are going to be pretty much the same on both the new consoles. So I'm going to stick with the Xbox controller, which I'm a lot more comfortable with and everything like that. I did used to play like PlayStation One, PlayStation Two back in the day, but uh, it's been a while since I used the PlayStation controller. So I'm gonna just stick with what I'm comfortable with, and that would be the Xbox controller. So that's like the main reason for it. And then a couple secondary reasons are just the games that are coming out exclusively on Xbox One, um, as in the two games really that I really care about. Of course, my main game is Call of Duty. I will be playing that, posting that. But I would like to post some of the new Halo for you guys. As you guys already, at least some, most of you guys, man. I don't know. If you're like a long time subscriber, you probably know. But uh, I'm big into Halo, man. I'm pretty good at Halo, and I was huge into Halo Three. I uploaded. I didn't like Reach. I did upload some Halo Four gameplay for you guys. I even think I have a Halo Three video uploaded. I'm not sure. But, uh, yeah, so the new Halo is coming out on the Xbox, which I'm going to be getting that. And then also Titanfall, which is Respawn's new game. It's supposed to be the COD killer or whatever. I don't know about all that stuff. But uh, I'm going to be definitely getting that game as well. I just want to see the engine for that game, man. The hit detection is probably going to be so nice on that game, like Modern Warfare 2 hit detection. And I just want to play FPS with, like, no lag like that. So that should be pretty cool. And, uh, yeah, those are the two games I want to play. And then as far as other stuff, like, I think that PlayStation has really like changed a lot as compared to the Xbox because for one I believe you have to play for place pay for um what is it called what P PSN or whatever I don't know what it's called I think it's called PlayStation Plus now or whatever so basically it's gonna be just like Xbox Live it's five dollars a month I believe so uh, it's it's around this I think they're both around the similar price range so that doesn't really matter too much as far as uh, paying for online so the, the only benefit in the past used to be that uh, on the PS3 you can play online for free but now you have to pay so they equaled it out there and then I think the main thing and this is where maybe Microsoft messed up as um, as far as uh, the new consoles go and that's just price because I already ordered my Xbox one it was five hundred dollars um, I ordered it from Best Buy someone go pick that up when it comes in I think the total came out to like five hundred and thirty one dollars so it's kind of expensive, and uh, but I wanted to make sure I got that pre-order in, and I believe like Amazon already sold out within the first day and stuff. So now you have to wait for like the second shipment or something like that. I'm not exactly sure about all that, but uh, yeah. So I got my pre-order in. Let me know if you guys already got your pre-order in or not, or if you're waiting till Christmas maybe, or I don't know. However you plan on getting it, and uh, also let me know which one you're gonna get. I want to kind of see. Um, I don't know. I think it's gonna be pretty much equal, but maybe a little bit leaning in favor of the PS4, and that's mainly just because the price. Because the Xbox One is 500. And the PS4 is 400, but the the difference there is that the Xbox One comes with the Kinect, and I believe that the $400 PS4 doesn't come with their little camera thing, so I think you have to pay for that. But I don't know if you need that. I personally, I'm not a fan of the Kinect, and uh, I don't really want to use it or anything. But the main the main complaint that uh, people had with the Xbox compared to the PlayStation was that uh, 
you can't have used games on Xbox, which that doesn't matter to me because I pretty much buy every single game I have new. I think they're all they're all new games. Um, you know, because whatever games I play, I buy them right when they come out. Like, I, I pre-order them and everything. Like, I don't go back and get used games or anything. So, it doesn't matter to me too much. Because I don't even buy that many games. Uh, I maybe buy, like, one or... I buy at least Call of Duty every year. And then usually one other game every year. So, I maybe buy, like, two, maybe three games every year. So, used games aren't a big deal for me. Because I don't, like, go buy a whole lot of games and stuff. So, it doesn't matter. But for someone that, you know, does buy a lot of games, I guess used games would matter. So, and that carries the PlayStation would be better and then another thing is the online always connected online or whatever shit now, I'm not exactly sure how that all works but uh, my Xbox is always hardwired to the internet 24 7 and uh, it's always been like that and it's always gonna be like that so that doesn't matter to me um, I guess in certain situations if you can't do that I guess it would matter but for me that's not an issue so uh, I'm gonna just stick with the Xbox so I mean there you go that's pretty much my reasons that uh, I'm gonna be sticking with the Xbox. Uh, all the disadvantages of the Xbox don't really pertain to me, so it doesn't. It does. It's not even a disadvantage to me, really. So that's why I don't really care too much about the disadvantages, and I really do like the advantages that come with this. So I'm gonna be sticking with the Xbox. Um, I, I probably will get both. I think this time around I'm gonna get both. The reason I held off on getting a PS3 is because I knew the new consoles were coming out. I didn't want to waste my money to uh, get a PS3, but I should be getting a PS4. I don't know how soon. <laughs> um, I don't get that much money off YouTube to just be buying everything, but uh, we'll see. We'll see. I, I I'll probably get one by uh, by 2014. Some I should get one by then. So uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for the video. Uh, my opinions on the new consoles and all that stuff. E3, all that all that type of stuff. As you guys know, E3 is going down this whole week. I think today's like the first official day or whatever. I don't know. I didn't go to it. I saw the people on Twitter tweeting it out. Uh, maybe next year we'll do. I don't know. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if they paid their own money to go to E3 or if, like, Machinima or whoever, like, flew them out there. I'm not actually sure. Because it's only, like, the really, really big YouTubers. I'm talking, like, 200k plus, so... I'm not really sure if they actually paid or if they got flown out there, so... Um, yeah, that's pretty much it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'm on the gun streak right now at the end. I don't think I died for the rest of the video. No, I don't. But, uh, yeah. This was a 145 and 2. Um, it was a good gameplay. Although, it wasn't a gameplay-focused uh, commentary, but... That was a pretty good gameplay in the background. I told you guys I'd be bringing you more actual gameplays, not like series and stuff so much. So yeah, thanks for watching. Leave a like rating if you enjoy. Let me know which console you are going to be getting, or if you've already pre-ordered it, let me know that as well, because I know a lot of you probably have. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good day, and peace out. Gentlemen, that was